Oh yeah! Shoot. Well, that was painful to watch. We stole the engine from my dirt bike for the Barbie car, so we're left with a dirt bike frame. And I have a bunch of snowmobiles. There's an extra snowmobile engine. So we take this dirt bike frame, which has tires, brakes, wheels, suspension, spare engine from a Yamaha Phaser. And we combine those to make the ultimate death machine. Pretty amazing how quickly you can destroy something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it really is. Oh shoot, the bottle's falling off. There'll be a belt that goes here, that's the normal snowmobile drive, and then um, a shaft that this drives that goes either just to here or maybe all the way across, and then a second, uh, a first drive chain to get it down to uh, here to drive the main, uh, main drive chain here. So um, I'm thinking at the moment the easiest would be the shaft go all the way across have a chain on that side going down to here. Yeah. Another shaft through to this side with a sprocket there. That seems like the easiest. Yeah, and of course the engine sitting exact where it's at right now isn't necessarily exactly where it's gonna go. I think it's pretty close. Mm -hmm. um, the tricky part is getting it low enough and far enough back. Because the farther forward it goes, the longer it has to be. And if it's too high, then the center of gravity is yeah. good. That makes sense. I came up with one al alternative which is really good in one respect and really bad in another. And that is to put the engine back here. And the main benefit is it moves the weight back a lot. So that means that the scooter overall could be way shorter. Yeah. It could be like that long, mm -hmm. which would be awesome. Um, the only downside being that the weight would be fairly high. Yeah. Which means it would be more tippy. Super productive day. So far today I've built one motor mount, but if it's any consolation, it's the freaking strongest motor mount there ever was for a snowmobile powered scooter thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's legit right there. Yeah, it's pretty stout, that's for sure. Well, now it looks like you got a mountain scooter there starting to look like something you could actually ride. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I was thinking handlebar risers, and I think maybe we still will, but I don't think they need to be all that big. Like it's fine if you're a little tall on it like this, you know? Yeah. I it's mean, it so wouldn't be super comfortable. long. It's like yeah. a dirt bike limousine. Exactly. It's the stretched, stretched out dirt bike. <laughs> it's so cool. Next thing is to get it stiff enough to actually hold the weight of everything. Right now it's, finally connected, but we need to run some more tubes here. I'm thinking extend these ones forward and then up like that, uh, but have it a little bit higher up than this and then supports going down mm -hmm. to make it all stiff. I just got this done, the new shock mount. Yeah, really the next thing is just making the frame all stiff enough to hold everything and then 
the rest of the motor mounts can go in. And then we have to figure out all the drive system, which is somewhat complicated. Things are already looking a lot stronger and a lot cleaner, huh? Don't you? Exciting stuff happening here. The uh, this is one of the side frame rails uh, for the scooter thing. So we're at a bit of a crossroads. We need to either decide for it kick out and get wider in the front or go straight um, I'd say that out wider looks more strong and and it looks cool. Like cooler. I was thinking it would look weird, but actually like, yeah. this almost looks weird. It's too yeah. long and straight. It doesn't look like it was very planned out. Straight makes it look really cheap. That makes it look nice. So we got the mountain scooter outside. The plan is roll it down the rally track hill and see just how it feels, how it rides. Ethan gets firsties because it's his idea. <laughs> um, but real quick, comment below, odds the GoPro stays on. <laughs> <laughs> We're all out of stickies from all the rallying we've been doing, so. <laughs> this is one of the moments that I just have to sit back, relax, and watch Ethan have all the fun. Sending. <laughs> oh, this thing's gonna be so much fun. All right, well, now it's my turn. I'll be the second rider of a limousine mountain scooter. <laughs> second I got over the hill I was like okay 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 the second you start picking up speed you're like this is the best <laughs> this is seriously like seeing it outside gets me way more pumped than seeing it in the garage like it's at a point now where I'm like yep it's the coolest let's do it yeah I know it sounded like a stupid idea at first pretty much everyone was skeptical but it's gonna be the best oh yeah is a different riding experience, I can tell already. Yeah, Love totally different. Being able to side hill like a snowmobile up like dirt hills and stuff. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be insane. <laughs> How's that climb, steep hill? Dude, that's the goods. We made it to the campground. It's down there, our tent's just over the edge. We're gonna climb one of these things tomorrow. Hopefully, if it doesn't rain too much. And it is beautiful out here. And we might traverse these three towers for the fun of it since we're up here. But uh, we've also got some weather rolling through. So, you know. You know. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, um, should we both go there, both go there, or one each? I'll take the east summit. 